Hey guys, welcome back to the Conservative Patriot. Hope you're doing well today. It's a good day for the president and a great day for our nation. So hope you all had a chance to watch the um, State of the Union address last night. Uh, I live on the East Coast, so it started at 9 o'clock. I know um, a good number of uh, you probably live uh, Middle America, West Coast, so times are different. It's always it's always interesting to me hearing people um, who live on the West Coast, you know, have an opportunity to to watch the State of the Union while they're eating dinner. Uh, but for me, it's always you know put the kids to bed and then watch State of the Union. Uh, last night, actually, my oldest, who's 12, stayed up with me and watched um, a half an hour of it because I, I I made him go to bed. He probably would have watched the whole thing. But uh, then he would have been a train wreck this morning going off to school. So it, it, it was funny because I didn't think he was going to watch it. And then, you know, I said, Gavin, you should probably check this out because it's a good learning experience for you. You can go into school tomorrow and talk about it with your history teacher um, and see what, um, what you know, what their take is and, and uh, just kind of tell your friends what you did and what you watched and see what they say. But... Um, he, he actually at one point um, said, he, he asked me, he's like, he's like, why is that lady behind the president wearing so much makeup? I said, well, I said, I, 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 I don't know. I don't have an answer for that. I guess that's just, that's just what she does. And he goes, well, she, he looks like a vampire. Like, well, that she does, kid, that she does. And um, as the, uh, you know, the, the, the half an hour part of the speech that he watched went on, he, he kept looking at her going, he's like, she's really rude. She's looking down the whole time. And, and then he's like, when she's, when she sits up or looks up and, and, you know, looks out across the room, he's like, why is she, who is she talking to? I'm like, buddy, I think we've been trying to figure that out for the past four years or longer. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, it was it was funny to watch his reactions to Pelosi behind President Trump, just kind of looking off into the distance with this like, sorry, with this dead stare, and and then her kind of going, just, just <laughs> muttering something when she disagreed, and it was just yeah, she held it back a little bit. She held it back a little bit. She wasn't as crazy as she usually is, but. Maybe she was really medicated. I'm not sure. But it was a great speech last night. It was an awesome speech. Um, probably, I think, the, the strongest State of the Union speech um, that I've ever seen. And, um, uh, you know, I, there, I heard a lot of dissent, of course, from uh, the Democrats saying that it was, uh, you know, it was not a unifying speech. Basically put himself in front of the country, which I didn't hear... One time I didn't hear President Trump say, me, 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 or I did this, I did this. It was always we and us. Um, but again, it's, you know, Democrat talking points. and You kind of expect that, so whatever. But, you know, a couple of the highlights to me were when President Trump walked in, and as tradition is, he, you know, he hand a copy of the speech to the Vice President and then the Speaker of the House. And... You know, people are all are all like, "Oh well." Pelosi held her hand out for a handshake. Well, he didn't he didn't uh, shake Mike Pence's hand either. He just you know handed the speech and then handed the speech to um, Pelosi and then turned around. He wasn't like looking for anything. He was like, "Here you go, here you go." He wasn't like looking for a handshake from either of them. Just kind of doing his thing. And the the look on her face when he turned around and didn't accept the handshake. I don't even think you saw her do it, quite frankly, but it was, or the look on her face was like, oh, well, excuse me. <laughs> so it was pretty funny. Uh, but then again, would you want to shake the hand of the two-faced lady behind you who's trying to get you impeached after she said, we won't impeach because it needs to be bipartisan and there needs to be a mountain of evidence? Well, of course, we all know that didn't happen. Um, but it was great. You know, I, I think my favorite part of the State of the Union speeches have always been the, um, the stories, um, you know, the people that the president brings in uh, and to uh, convey um, 
what he's talking about, what story he's talking about. Like, you know, last night it was education. So he brought that young girl in to, you know, convey, you know, what's going on in her life and, and how, it, how um, school choice impacts, you know, real people around the country. And, and then we brought um, uh, the Sergeant First Class back from deployment to see his family. That was a, a powerful moment as well. Uh, they're all powerful moments, you know, the uh, 100-year-old Tuskegee um, Airman, that was impressive, very impressive, you know, he turned 100 back, uh, ironically, on uh, Pearl Harbor Day, so, yeah, I mean, and he was just, that was amazing, it was amazing to see him standing there next to his great-grandson who wants to follow in his footsteps, which is amazing, and then to see Rush Limbaugh there, who did not know he was going to get the Presidential Medal of Freedom uh, standing there. But what gets me is, you know, for the Democrats and Pelosi not to stand up when somebody's getting the Presidential uh, Medal of Freedom, it doesn't matter who it is, Democrat, Republican, Rush Limbaugh, um, who, who, whoever. You know, it could have been a Democrat talking head. This guy has been around for many years. Yes, he's a conservative. Yes, he's a Republican. He also has advanced lung cancer. Cut the guy some slack. Give him an applause. No, she couldn't even be bothered to do that. Which, you know, basically shows you how partisan and how petty they are. Absolutely ridiculous. And then at the end of the speech, for her to stand up immediately after and start ripping up the speech right behind the president tells the story of where we are as a country. Um, so divisive and so petty on her part. I mean, come on, grow up, lady. You're not five years old. You're not on a playground. Someone didn't take your toy. Eh, I'm going to throw a temper tantrum. Give me a break. Um, but anyways, you know, it was a great speech, uh, as we all saw. And today, another great thing happened just not even an hour ago, 45 minutes ago, we had the vote uh, to acquit the president on those two impeachment charges, which we all knew was going to happen. The one thing I didn't see coming, I mean, I guess I should have saw it coming, is that Mitt Romney voted uh, in favor of impeachment one, um, you know, uh, abuse of power, which I thought was, I thought it was horrible. I couldn't believe he did it. Uh, and he said that, you know, in a, I guess I missed it. There was an interview interview with Chris Wallace where he said that he, you know, he morally had to do it and he would have to live with the consequences. I'm like, how did you morally, how did that, how did you come to the conclusion that he abused his power? Um, I didn't see it. Uh, and, you know, maybe you should change your party affiliation to Democrat because, quite frankly, uh you know, you and Susan Collins are, are becoming more and more uh, in line with the, uh, the Democrat Party anyway. So maybe you should just hop seats, get out of there. But, yeah, I think the con consequence is next time you go up for re-election, you're all done there, buddy. I, I don't think the people of Utah are going to forget that. Um, and uh, I think you may have just lost your seat to a Republican challenger in Utah. I don't know when his re-election is up, but I think that's coming. So anyways, that's all I got today, guys. It was a, it's a great day. Great day for the country. Great day for the president. Um, hope you guys like the content. If you do hit the subscribe button, like, share, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for uh, future uh, content that I will put out. And as always, stay on the right side. Talk to you guys soon.